way. <laughs> um, how you doing? So I think we're. Whoa. Do I want to sit like that? Not particularly. I'm fresh out the shower, as you can see. What the shit? That's better. Um, I think we're kind of getting decently close to. Um, oh my god. Sort of over halfway at least. I think the rest of the game's a little shorter. What have we. Time 17 and a half. 22. Yeah, so we. We're pretty close. A couple sessions and we'll be done. Kind of. Ish. Um, we have been taking our time a little bit more with this one though. Um, in two seconds. You. Fuck off. What else? Um, that's fine. Sorry. It's getting some lag on my end. So what are we going to do? We have to perform tasks for the Mandalore so we um, earn their trust. Is that it? There is nothing for us. Okay. Guess we've pissed her off beyond recognition. Um, what have we got? Ask around the camp. Yeah. Okay. Guess we should explore first because we haven't really. We only just got here last time, didn't we? And I'm sure they're probably totally fine with us stealing all this shit. Right, I think we can re we can do something with this, like repair it all. It isn't working. You don't say. The smoke coming from the top of it didn't really clue me up. Um, use workbench. What can we can we create anything else? No, it's fairly slim pickings there. I don't even know if we have anything to upgrade either. Mm. Is it F4 to save? Yeah. F4 to quick save. Now, I think that's an arena of some kind. That's the ship we'll be taking eventually. Um... Who do we talk to? Uh, you, I guess. Or <laughs> so the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always uh, had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the uh, wisest Mandalore to uh, judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross uh, blades with you in the battle circle. Um. You talk with the sergeant. Today is his day to preside over the circle. Each fight is different because the Mandalorian with greater honor dictates the terms of the engagement. But there will be no terms if we fight. Everyone else will deny you your lightsaber and the use of your force. But I want to fight you with all your skill. Victory isn't important in the battle the circle. doesn't exist? What exactly. Is discovering more about yourself exactly. and your opponent. Um, so I guess this guy wants to die. Also, those two fighting are really loud. Wow. Okay, they've calmed down a little bit. He says, "Hey, doing Gandalf?" This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. <laughs> I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians <laughs> handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. 
Well, I, I suppose so. <laughs> I've never... Um, the Mandalorian armor is cool right up until you get to the helmet. It's a little weird, isn't it? Um, are we going now? So who is the sergeant? So the Jedi Order is... Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Are you the sergeant? So the Jedi come to grace us. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. Uh, I am a real warrior. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on Maybe our not. terms, that can be arranged. <laughs> I mean, we do. I do kind of rely on the force to carry me through every single fight. <laughs> we are not merchants. We are Mandalorians. The only thing gained and lost here is honor, and perhaps two, some skill. If five you have to the two fasting. To learn. Oh, so so you mean like five days no food? Oh. Five days, no food, two with food. Is that what that is? Um, Alright. I want to fight in the battle circle. You are new here, so you will fight Davro. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davro, five days food, two days food. Oh, okay. No weapons, How's that no going? Jedi tricks, two days no without items. food, oh my god. Of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Oh. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Mm -hmm. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Say battle circle one more fucking time. Um. Oh, so I can still use the force, but I guess it'll. I'll be, like, disqualified. A bit delirious. Oh God, I can imagine. Is it your first time doing a, a fast? Apparently, it's, like, really good for you. Well. I guess. <laughs> First week. Right. Well, good luck with that. I kind of do... Um... Intermittent... Intermittent fasting? Where you don't, like, eat through the day. And then just have something... It's not, it's not true fasting, though. I don't eat a lot, and then I eat at dinner, and then that's it, really. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Works Jedi for me. is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised 16, you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest that's in a, fighting you. So is that in one honor as you have gained, it thing? Is so you do 16 days with request. food, and then eight oh, without, like, straight. Again. Or is there a... sort of a break in between? Save that. <laughs> Can we? Someone heal me, please. Here we go. Here to watch a fight or to put. After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. Oh, okay. Um. So that was yeah. Alright, <laughs> I was going to say, man, you've got some serious uh, longevity if you can go that. Uh, eight days without food. Um, no further terms, I can use my lightsaber in the force, you can use anything once well. I guess we're just hand to hand. The battle circle is for training. It is best to choose something that will test both of your limits. In this case, swords would be a good choice. It okay. is something neither one of you are completely familiar with, but the choice is ultimately yours. Um, I guess we'll go swords. I am somewhat familiar with them, though. Um, yeah, there's I like the. Was it sixteen? Um, no food, eight with... I mean, it works well for a lot of people. Fasting in general does. But for some people, it's really unhealthy, I've heard. So you've got to find your, like, what works for you best. Because of, like, metabolisms and all that. An honorable choice. 
I will send a runner to Kex. The fight will begin shortly. Who is that voice? I, I know who that voice is. Let's just spam that. He might beat me here. Oh my god. Not only will he beat me, he's going to kick my arse. Oh, whoops. I hit the quick load. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, it's a hard um, thing to get a, a, a diet sorted out, but I mean, good luck. I'm sure you'll nail it. Wait a second. Where am I? Oh, I just went this total wrong way. So, it's back down here. Right. I'll come back to them. I might put a few points in melee or something. Whoa! Uh oh. I'm lagging a little bit. Right, let's talk to these ones and see what they want. Uh, I might. I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways <laughs> of rar. discipline and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. Uh, sure he's dead? If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Just as equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. Um, keep an eye out for the body. Alright, so I guess we have to log Our back his gear swell. at least. Um, he did say raw, didn't he? He didn't. <laughs> he, Our training hmm. I, don't, I don't need any of that. Don't, don't raw XD me. <laughs> Alright, out we go. Do you need something? You're red. No. Oh, you're the captain. You might have something. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst, but without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. Um, larger beasts? We heard reports of a Zakeg oh. wandering the paths around here. Ouch. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. I think you vastly overestimate It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. I think you can um, take that self-righteous stick and jam it. Right up your ass. You fight a Zake. All right, Gandalf. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Good. No beast on this moon is a match for me. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I mean, we're pretty OP at the moment. As long as we have our force, we're not really in much trouble. You finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. Who? Who is this? Oh, it's Davril. <laughs> um. Many Mandalorians have fallen to Jedi, there's no... You're a fool to challenge me, Davril. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle. He's like one of the only... Um... Unique voices as well, and he's like some throwaway character. So. 
<laughs> oh, they all went invisible. <laughs> like, no, not dealing with this. If you head out into the jungle, stay alert. I put. Alright. I shall be careful. So, we came from down there. This little landing. We've been up along here. It's actually a pretty big area. It made me unequip my freaking lightsaber. And hers. Oh no. I shall honor them. That's nice. <laughs> I do feel a lot more powerful than I usually do in the first one. this game yeah I feel like as strong as Revan is I mean you do get pretty by the end of it you're pretty overpowered in the first one um, but I feel more overpowered and a lot earlier too uh, sorry two seconds um, Yeah, it's, I think I, when I first played this, I was a bit bummed by how similar it seems to begin with. Like, it feels very, very, very... Like, it, basically, you've just, you've just kept playing the same game. But as you get more and more into it, there's enough difference to be like, oh, okay, there's actually a decent amount to keep me playing in this one. Where am I? Okay. Storm. Get full four storm one hit kill on all. By the start of Telos. Oh my god. I think we're doing that now. <laughs> Maybe not one hit, but one and a half. That's insane. I do like this. Uh, the subclasses and stuff as well. Permacrete detonator used to set off permacrete charges. A link to it. Press button. Of course, I'm gonna press Bhutan. It's got a max wisdom and Uh oh. The jungle is a living thing. That detonation will have repercussions. I mean, we just blew the door, though. We didn't really blow up anything else. Oh, wow. That thing's big. Um, it, does it kind of... Charisma doesn't just affect... Um, like, speech stuff, does it? It has other effects as well. Sims first. Powers feats. Yeah. There's definitely a lot more nuance to the story as well because every single time you talk to someone there's like a fucking thing this big of dialogue where in the other one there was like three four options most times here it's like which which different answer do you want to piss someone off with which i've managed to do a lot of so far Hmm. Actually, it does remind me, and for good reason, because it's made by the same people, it rem reminds me a lot of Fallout New Vegas. Because Obsidian does that really well. The Ready. whole giving you 
a thousand different options um, that might not have a huge, huge effect, but they change stuff enough to be um, worthwhile. And like, I haven't played this anywhere near enough to sort of know what changes and what doesn't. Tallying force points. Right. Um. Can't do anything with these. Oh. Droid looks like it hasn't been used in some time. You can't find a way to activate it. Okay. Um. Bash the droid. Mm, probably Ready. shouldn't. Smooth panel is more effective. Right, okay. See, I like that. Uh, I like when there's I'm here. multiple aspects to some um, skills. Because it makes it more helpful to actually put Ready. points in them. Especially in big games like this where putting points is such like a big decision. I'm here. And some games, especially older serve? games, will give Ready. you a list that's like 30 options long and give you enough points to like put in to make a couple really good and that's it. And if you make the wrong decision, well, you're going to be playing a very frustrating game. But I find Charisma is usually a good one to put points into. Just because RPG characters like to talk a lot. Impossible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Everyone's awake! Yeah. I think we killed all but two in the first, in one go. <laughs> Did any of them drop anything? No. Okay. Impossible. Okay. Lots of stims. Empty, empty. Krath Holy Battle Suit. Mandalorian Power Spike. Power Shield. Sorry. What was. I won't be able to wear that armor, but maybe. She can. It's not as good. Never mind. My life is yours. Here. My poor companions. <laughs> Used as mine fodder. So we've still got a pretty fucking huge area to look over. Oh my god, is that loot? Oh my god, it's loot. Phase pulse converter power. Jeez, oh, okay. Um, how to resist? Yeah, that's sort of. It's like the. Um, was it the D and D? Warlocks. Charisma's like their main stat thing. <laughs> what do they call it? Whatever. Um, Why don't I just get a double bladed lightsaber? You know, like the you in some RPGs you can like star a certain uh, statistic that goes to just make it. Better. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't the system static blaster. So I just got another lightsaber. 
just because. It's weird. Can we give her a lightsaber? Oh, that would have been cool. The honor, I'm here. Okay, so this just leads back and then down, which will lead back around. Mandalorian Scout. Let's go and have a chat, shall we? Hello. What are you doing out here? It's dangerous for your kind. What do you mean, my kind? Uh, why are you here? I thought all patrols have been stopped. I am a Mandalorian Scout. I don't go on patrols. Okay. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. Ah, uh, there's a tourist bounty hunter ship deeper in the jungle. No, it wasn't there. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Um, that would be Sith assassins, wouldn't it? Uh, any sign of a crew? Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout and pretty green too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? Huh, yes. Uh, let's stop talking and get to killing. Hmm. Good to hear it. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. I think our character might there's be a psychopath. And I don't want them or to a slip sociopath. By. If we whichever's... split up, we should be able to find their scouts. If you're up for it. Alright, I am. That's fine. Then. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. We have to be getting pretty close to the, like... The ultimate dark side. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hiccups. Fucking... No, I can't loot him. So he... Which way is west? Uh, never eat soggy wheat bix. So it's over that way. What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. Mm. I think they're called Canox. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's him! Get him! There was a rumor going around a little while ago that a Knights of the Old Republic 3 was going to happen, wasn't there? I seem to remember hearing about that. Ignore my spelling, please. <laughs> I'm a quick type and not an accurate one. Is already here. I'm sorry. Paying attention. Okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and say plenty of people are paying attention to the MMO. Maybe it was just a rumor. Yeah. Rumored to be in development. Because that'd be cool. There's not really much How? or any like this. May I serve? Not that I can think of anyway. I guess the closest you'd get is... Like those top-down party... Um... Like tactical RPGs, like um, Baldur's Gate and that kind of thing. I suppose that's about as close Set as you Set the staging get. camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! I don't even have to do anything. To battle. What's uh? Oh. 
that was hard. <laughs> uh. Guess that's all of them. Yeah. See what he's found, so we're back. Check it out. No, no, I already searched that. Nope, he's killed two more. Three more, oh my god. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Mm-hmm. Two groups, they weren't in the mood to talk either. Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? They mentioned something about a colonel. And there also seems to be more of them. Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cath hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Um, who is General Vaklu? General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the oh, Onderon military. That clears military. everything up. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian War. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore mm -hmm. needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. Alright. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. Hmm. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See what can. That was easy <laughs> and quick. Though there's still a few bits and pieces we've got to do before you head back to camp, like find someone's body, and that may be it actually. <laughs> Wow, they just, they turn invisible whenever there's a fight. That's not, not fantastic. This is the big, the, the big boy, isn't it? Wait a moment. Do you see that boma over there? Mm. The force flows through even these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment. Primal and unsophisticated. I feel it. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. Hey, Pigeon, how you doing? Boop. To you too. Uh, was that? That's why. How you doing? Did I do it? Kind of looks like I just you pissed it off. Close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. You're alive. But the cage around Feel that. Is a fragile <laughs> thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. Okay. Can anything else be done with beasts? With the force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now. Okay. You have gained the power beast trick. Maximum force poison increased. Lovely. <laughs> A weakness is revealed. Mm -hmm. That was fairly simple. Mm. 
Well, I'm glad you're alive, Pigeon. Uh, we haven't seen you for a while. What you, what you been up to? Don't mind my asking. This will teach you. I wanted to beast control. Better save too. Beast trick. A weakness is revealed. Don't really. Can I see what that actually specifically does? Some force powers cannot be learned through normal means. <laughs> okay. So I'm missing. I'm missing one, two, th three, four more powers. It's easy. Okay, so it just makes them easier to sneak past. Which we're not really in the habit of doing. Are you Kumus? Zargo thought you were dead. I'm Kumus. And Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I am just in a difficult situation. Um, What are you doing up there? A patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarga told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. So how did you get up there? This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. So when I finished setting That's the right, charges, please. I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pests were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack. So I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. Um... How can I help? You must have cleared a path to the beast coming here. If you take care of the Boma Beast, I can make it to safety. Could give you an extra ammo clip. My blaster rifle's been useless ever since I used it to bash in a Canuck skull. <sighs> Alright. I'll go drive off the Bomas Your then. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp. Alright, thank Christ we didn't get any uh, light side points then. I feel like even being slightly nice to people just takes a big chunk of dark side points with it. What the fuck? The sound mixing in this, I have to say, is atrocious. It's really bad. Someone with very sensitive ears. <laughs> Not having a great time with that. I guess we'll check around here and then go back to him. Because we've cleared out... Oh, I mean, we. I think we've cleared out the entire rest of the jungle. Although well, they did say something about a big old thing. Beast of some kind. Uh, sounds like a challenge here. Yeah. A Zarkeg. Which I am assuming would have to be here because there's nowhere else to go. Soon you shall know pain. Ooh. Oh, it's like a. Eh, it's not a great texture. <laughs> Thought there was like a pile of goop for a second. Yuck. 
There we go. Jeez, this, this jungle just keeps going on and on and on. Oh no, I can't kill it with like two blasts. This requires lightning spam. I can just sit here. Oh my god, it nearly killed me. How? 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 Oh, that has to have something. An ear. Right. Is there anything else here? Or... Vibration lens. Crystal fitness package. Vibration lens, eh? Alright. So, we'll go and rescue that Mandalorian, and that should be it for the jungle. Then we can move on to the actual planet. So, we've still got. Uh, Narshada to do as well. So there might be a few more sessions in this. And then. Yeah, we'll see how we go. There's no fast travel option, is there? It's one thing I missed from the first game. I'm grateful for your help, stranger. I am returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone. <laughs> okay. Even though Mandalorians were your sworn enemy, you would still save one in need? You are a perplexing man, Exile. Um... Oh man, this is gonna give me a bunch of light side points. I'm hoping... I want to try and retrieve... This... Because uh, our... Points with the Handmaiden are incredibly low. She doesn't even want to talk to us anymore. So... I want to try and get those back up so we can at least keep going with the dialogue trees and whatever, but... Do I want that, or... More dark side points? I guess we're, no one deserves that. I will side. have to think on what you said. Son of a bitch. Influence gained. Oh, thank god, maybe she'll talk to me now. How much light side? Oh my god! That's a huge chunk. I don't even know if that was worth it. Ugh. <sighs> She's come down from light side, though. She's heading towards neutral again. That is brutal. S I Strangely enough, in games with moral choices, I usually find it's easier to lean towards the evil option. Because, I don't know, it's usually pretty easy to see what is the dick move and what isn't. But in this, it's just, you never really know what's gonna, I mean, in that case we did, but sometimes you pick a dialogue option thinking it completely innocuous and then, bam. <laughs> Half of your progress is gone uh, back to the light side. So I guess you, you really have to work at being evil. Like, like a lot. <laughs> Uh oh yeah the god jungle is taking over everything this place is on. I hear you gave Davril a warrior's death. You understand more of our ways than I thought. Hmm. He is the E. I'm impressed. Too bad you're a Jedi. You'd make a formidable That's Mandalorian. Racist. Um I'll be going now. So we've got some bits and pieces. Talk to this guy. You found Kumas and alive. I suppose I should offer my gratitude. He's got a mind like a stunned Minoc, but he's got courage. 
He was evasive when I asked him what happened, however. Trying to survive in the jungle must have taken its toll. Um, glad I'm able to turn him safely. We'll see if Kumis will prove warrior enough to be worth all this trouble. Right. I'll eat my entire... Holy shit. Oh, and I saved it all the way back there, Our too. numbers swell. Our training hones us. The galaxy oh. will fear us once more. Internet died. That's not good. Well, uh, glad you're back then. Oh, is something fucking downloading? It is. Oh no, it's f stopped. It's weird. Alright. Um, I kind of want to re. <laughs> kind of want to reload. I don't want to walk all that way again, though. I'm going to load. Fuck's sake. Oh no. Ugh. You there, right? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um. Son of a bitch. Don't touch that button, it'll blow up. Alright then. <sighs> so, we're gonna go back and kill that thing again. And I have to go and jump off a bridge. So yeah, you watch TikTok on toilet with 5G. I mean, that works too. I've been... I only really use my internet for this, for streaming. Everything uh, else, I just use my phone. Like, my data. Because... In, here in Australia, our internet is shit. Like... Just... The worst. Uh, you, you pay a premium for a... Just garbage product see like I'm very surprised I can stream at all really because I sometimes even struggle to load a YouTube video that's how bad it gets and somehow the stream I mean there are times where the stream just fucking tanks <laughs> and um, I can't stream for ages but for the most part, it holds on pretty well. And then I'll finish the stream and, I don't know, put a video on or something. And it's just like, no. Nah, not happening. You get to sit and watch the fucking loading bar go instead, you pleb. I, I don't think that works very well. Hmm, something tells me that's not... No, okay. Fuck off! Oh my god, it does so much damage! Expensive. Well, that's actually... I'm not sure. We haven't got Starlink. Um, this one will fall. And I don't know if we will. I mean, at some point, probably. <laughs> But, if it is, I think I'll probably go, I'll probably go that way. Because um, we use, we have something called NBN and it's fiber to the node. Um, and it's just, it's fucking shit. It is so bad. And it just makes me mad how much, how much they talked it up and how just atrocious it really is. And they spent all this money on it and it became obsolete within the first month, I think. 
You are That's no how bad match it was. for us. Eighty-three dollars a month. So what's that's not that's not bad at all. Eighty-three bucks a month. So what's the hmm. uh, launch beta in the U.S. in October last year? To pre-orders for Australian addresses with the goal of delivering services mid to late 2021. 139 a month for an internet plan with no stated data caps. And the receiver equipment, 709 plus 100 dollars for shipping. So, 809 bucks with 139 a month. I mean, that's not the worst. That is pretty steep, but no data caps. My life is yours. I use a shit ton of data, <laughs> so that might actually suit me quite well. Uh, I will keep an eye on that, though, because anything's better than what we have well, now. Data cap. Yeah, there is there is no um, internet provider here in Australia that doesn't have a data cap. They'll go, they'll give you um, unlimited in quotation marks when it is you still actually have a a, a data cap. Um, so you're you're then paying a premium for fake unlimited uh, data. I think it's quite a high data limit, but it's still in peak times, especially because you um, say you live on a busy in a busy area, like in a in a big town or whatever. At certain times, no matter who your provider is and whatever plan you're on your internet will slow to a crawl because everyone is um on it so even if you've got like you go top of the line um their whichever providers their top speed and their top data the you still have to fucking deal with that I have only one so love, yeah so if you go over um a certain amount then your internet it's Mandalorians were your sworn enemy throttled to the it's impossible to do anything to load one web page is um it would take a couple minutes easy I will have all right so we've got influence points save it now and then we'll run back yes fuck me Uh, that's not what I wanted. But yeah, we have our biggest uh, ISP here is something called um, Telstra. And they are shit. They are really, really bad. Their customer service is pathetic. <laughs> and everything else is just as bad. It's sort of like... You ring up, and if you've got a problem, you basically get told to deal with it. You pay $37 Australian for unlimited fiber. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that is so cheap. My god. $37. It's really good for internet. Uh, man, if you're if you're able to get unlimited for that amount, that is crazy. Now I might have to I might have to move to the UK. <laughs> See, I'm not even sure what plan I'm on at the moment anyway. I just know it's not great. We have a lot of data, but um, the speed is just really bad. And there's nothing you can really do about it either. I don't... You can't, like... I've gone the wrong way again. It, 
even though they give you say they'll say in their contract like hey we'll give you such and such speed at such and such data and if they don't deliver on that then it's just like oh well which is bullshit third part yeah yeah it's mm. if you live in a rural area you better hope that there's like a cellular tower very close to where you live because if not you might not really get much internet at the best of times I hear you gave do it's just it's just not a very good how it's done is very very bad um So, you, but you kind of you need internet. You can't go without it these days. Uh, so you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. The Mandalorians will rise again. You found he was what? Hi. What? Hmm. Um, uh, suppose so. Are we going now? All right. So we had an option. I didn't want to. I didn't want to ride it now. Um, um, I guess we can go and fight in the circle now. Hopefully, we can fight the guy with our lightsaber and force powers. Here to watch your fight. After defeating Davro, since he is the challenge, I will send a runner. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. That was so much easier just with my lightsaber. <laughs> Here to watch a f You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin, what are your terms? Ah! Just fist and foot like you fought with Daryl. Nothing else. Tagrin chooses to fight hand to hand. Oh! Okay. I mean, we're pretty good with hand-to-hand, -hand, though. We've got all those extra perks. I say as I'm getting literally kicked in the face. And not hitting a single one. Holy oh. shit. Wow. <sighs> you know what? I can live without it. Let's just... Let's go and talk to Mandalore. <laughs> My, our martial prowess isn't that great. There must be something going on then. Like, because uh, it's not always on, on your end, right? A lot of the times it can be on the, the your provider's end. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert Could military be. scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakig. Those are tough beasts, mm. Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. Uh, I set off the Premacrit detonator in the jungle. I know. It made quite a racket. Good work. Uh, after I set off the explosives, I had to fight through a pack of Burmas. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone Space makes accessible. loud noise Not in their territory. Like no, not really. I I sort of check up on that kind of stuff every now and then, but I don't keep I don't keep tabs on it as as uh, super often. I'm interested in it though. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? Hmm. You're alive in one piece and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Ask around the camp. Someone else might. Oh I also God. promised you a reward. Here you go. This should help you fend off some of the local beasts. You're well on your way to earning some the real respect starship. Keep it up. 
I can't say I do. Do I? Is there more that we have to do? What do you want? Have I proven myself yet? You've made quite a reputation around Oh, thank here. Christ. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. Oh, okay. Kelborn told me that they were covert military and um, probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Still Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, lands. But that doesn't mean there aren't I haven't heard anything there. about that. That sounds cool, though. Colonel Tobin is General Vaclu's right-hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting <laughs> Vaklu's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaklu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kenrath like Tobin. But Vaklu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. Uh, when you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. Right. Um... We're not self-sufficient here. We need supplies. Isis is the only place to go for them in this system. Not much choice. Which is unfortunate, because their animosity towards Mandalorians makes it inconvenient <laughs> to go there. Can't imagine why. I don't... I got a short lightsaber. I am just. I've got lightsabers coming out my ears. What's this? Loud. <laughs> oh, I've seen something similar to this. I haven't seen this one, though. Hmm. It almost looks CGI. It's not CGI, right? <laughs> To think, like, not that long ago, it was incredibly difficult to, well, I think impossible to even land a ship back once it had taken off, but now it's just kind of happening all the time. Are you ready just, to go to right? Isaac? Um, I think we can, I th hang on. Can you there talk to me? nothing for us to Yeah, okay. We'll save it and we'll go. Are you ready to go to I? Yeah. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. Uh, yeah, that's true. No one else has the, the resources or the. They check well, out Mandalore all Anything really. Green. <laughs> Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? Huh. It is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If Best by engineers, apart yeah. you mean scattered, broken, and lost... And more money than then yes, God. <laughs> correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again. United as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, 
Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought hmm. their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me, a man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking hmm. to me like that. Uh, some, you think your age well, or your Jedi yeah, working will 18 hours a day. keep you safe from will definitely give you the edge. <laughs> no, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he betrayed you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. So, he is yeah, true more important than anything show the same loyalty you have shown in the past Mandalore. I guess that's what it comes down if to there is like a if you've got a workforce crusade, that is willing let it to be put for something that much that will carry your people's memory into the future so when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians then at least their honor will remain the one I travel with has walked your same path and I ask that when the end comes that you remember that kinship even if it seems there is nothing else left this is weird. Um, Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. <laughs> you, um... Uh, one, two, three. What's he say? Oh, Mandalorians, no. we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Perimeter? He might be Australian. <laughs> Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. As long as they're being, you know, adequately compensated for working their lives away. Regardless, we must eliminate them all. That's all right. <laughs> None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. I mean, allies is a little bit of a strong word. Great sounds. Uh, yeah. I think as long as, um... I suppose you do also have to be in sort of the upper echelons to be employed at places like SpaceX. Why go so fucking close? <laughs> it's not really something you can just walk into and go, oh hey, give me all the money and I'll work a lot for you. Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Mm. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. Plus, if you work for, like, Tesla in general, you get, um, like, stocks and stuff, don't you? Or SpaceX, either or. Um, sure. Amazing, yeah. Though... You're working on some of the most advanced tech in the world, so you'd probably want to... You'd, you'd have to be, like, top percent. Because I imagine fuck-ups probably are very expensive at that stage. Even little ones. <laughs>
Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our Whole skies. Before. So uh, that's many a good of way to do it, I feel like. Lost? Curiously, Curiously, fuck. only yeah. Tobin's men were involved in that battle. Uh, that's Shuta. Strong word, your majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. <laughs> I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Right. Though I, sp I suppose, you know, that kind of responsibility is a double-edged sword. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Okay. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. So cinematic. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Um, What's wrong? Oh, there's a couple of lessons. Shitting himself. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, you know, literally, like, he didn't actually shit himself, did he? Or did he just have a total been a while since you've breakdown? docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. You are human, aren't you? Your face looks... Ugh, never mind that. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's Maybe. allowed to leave. <laughs> the blockade has been bad for everyone. It's freaking out, yeah. Ooh. I, th that amount of stress cannot be good for you, though. A burnout has to approach pretty quickly at that point. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Oh, good. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. <laughs> Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. <laughs> ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. All right. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Can I go now? Certainly. Mind what I said about the starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the starport. So, he's like, these are very rare, and just hands me one. <laughs> um... Hello. <laughs> what do I have to say? I like to see where you're stop. Right. Initiate armor. Is that better than mine? I don't think it is. And a vibration cell. Don't think that can go on lightsabers, excuse me. Lots of grenades. How much is this? 420. Uh, I might just buy it just in case. We have plenty of money. Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? Yes. Why do you ask? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. 
Our settlements prospered, but now... Your beasts seem restless. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps mm. it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. Uh, why do you have so many in the cages? These beasts you see here are for delivery okay. to Telos, but we have... Who are you? <laughs> I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the one of those Space in. Force's searches so that we can sell them. Ad time? What? What have I done? Turn the screen black. Oopsies. Ad time. I don't even know how to set off an ad. Um. No, no. Advertise Taco Bell. <laughs> Activity feed. Ad time. I don't. That must be new. There's been a lot of updates at the moment. No. Um. Oh no. no. Hmm. Rewards. Jesus. Oh yeah, I had um. A s at a spoopy game. Default ones. Add time. Maybe I did add that. Oh well. Um, just pretend an ad played. <laughs> I don't know how to set them off. Taco Bell. You know we don't have Taco... We have one Taco Bell here in a very, very large um, radius. There's one sort of close to me, but I've never had it before. But Taco Bell. <laughs> um... A lot of people say it's not that great. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, oh, there is. I can. There we go. I'll run an ad. <laughs> oh shit! Good. Um, let's get out of that. And that. Oops. There we go. Where is, um, yeah, a lot of people say it's not great, but I, I wouldn't mind trying it. Points I need to spend. Actually, I will. Uh, excuse me. Where did my. Go. Um, how do I edit rewards? <laughs> um, I have few rewards, so that is, I'll do it later. But there's a um, I have had like one of those basically like point dumps that people can just spend a shit ton of points on. Um, 
Our people have been here for centuries. I'll set that back up. Though so we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient that. times, our people were criminals. Prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. Right. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. Hmm. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders He's have fallen super into serious. city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaklu argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. Right. No one is to leave the city without the starport visas. It chokes passage in and out of Isis. Right, I'll be going now. So... Why... Did the game be like, hey, that's... that... there's a thing over there. Calm. Calm. That would what? be why. <laughs> Run! The bomber is... out of control! It's a shitty cage if we could just get out like that. <laughs> no, but the lot the my last playthrough was eight years ago. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders. Or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. Um... The beasts grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts. As... as you've just seen, when they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. I mean, isn't that kind of like... You know those people who... Uh, like, raise bears and... Um, hippos and, like, all those really dangerous creatures and then they just turn on them one day? kind of what that is you can never really fully tame something especially like that sounds like bull <laughs> uh, I'll be going now peace general Vaklu was an underground resistance leader during the Mandalorian oh that's nice halt off worlder you'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city Around the base. What is your business on Isis? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you it's around the base. That's bull. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't a spe I mean, it wasn't an especially tough beast. If it was like a rancor, then it might have been an issue. Uh, I don't think my business is any concern of yours. I don't think your business is any concern of mine. While you're at it, tell him to forget he ever saw us. Could be useful. Be careful. Affecting minds in such a way leaves traces and makes echoes in the force. It may reveal oh, well. our presence before we are ready. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. Uh, you'll let me go about your, my business and forget you ever saw me. You should probably go about your business, whoever you are. Mm. Oh, uh, don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Mm. I love that ability. I could, yeah, that would be very handy in my day-to-day -day life. So would the ability to force choke people. I'd take either, honestly. Actually, no, I prefer the force choke. It would be a lot more helpful. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. 
How can I assist you? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays, and because of that, Beast Cages are filling up the streets of Isis. That can't end well. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some disagreements. I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. <laughs> so I've learned my lesson. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Fair Ask enough. around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Mm, I'm good. Stay out of trouble. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Mm. But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pr pretend he isn't here. Right. What have you got? Neophyte armor. I mean, it's a little better than that last one, so we'll grab it. Um, another crystal. I think we already have one, though. And <laughs> that's about it. I mean, they don't sell great stuff. I might just buy that. This item costs more than 950. Yeah, I mean, I have 30,000 credits. I think I'm good. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaklu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. It's Jedi whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? <laughs> Who, me? Uh, the Queen should listen to the will of her people. Exactly. That is all we ask. Close to two-thirds of Onderanians want to reclaim our independence, to isolate ourselves from the ravages of the Republic, to relive our golden age when we answered to no Senate. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. Hmm. Oh, I wonder where we're supposed to go. <laughs> Sup. You Unnecessary fuckers. observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate. All right, jeez. No one crosses. A weakness is revealed. You are no match for us. Failing master. <laughs> failing master. Soon you shall know pain. They used to be such a hard fight, but now it's just. Just nothing. <laughs> um, how much, well, I got one. We'll put it into wisdom. That's fine. Skills. Hmm. <laughs> Dueling. No. Um, on tech. Improve it, sure. We'll get that one. That's fine. And powers. I think we've already gotten pretty much all the cool stuff. There we go. Beast confusion. Eh. And she calls a hostile beast to fight for you. Done. I like stuff fighting for me. Talk them to death. Something you need. Uh, 
Oh. That's weird. They're just kind of sitting over here in the corner. Usually they're in the road of where I need to go. The rumor I've heard is that you don't fully agree with our queen and her supporters. If you aren't adverse to Queen Talia stepping down, we could use your help. It would be quite worth your while. Oh, okay. How can I help? I'm a strong supporter of General Vaklu. The Merchant Quarter is an important area. Not only financially, but strategically as well. It is one of the few districts that is directly connected to the Royal Palace. The Queen and her advisors are well aware of this and have ensured that the captains here are extremely loyal to her. This presents complications for Vaklu. If you could arrange for them to be removed from their command, you will be richly compensated. Uh, tell me about this captain. There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower. And Bastuko guards the entrance to the sky ramp. All loyal and all need to be reassigned. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulio, met with an accident. I believe you're familiar with that. Besides his strong loyalty to the oh, Queen, I know next to nothing about him. He sometimes frequents the local cantina when he isn't at his post. He's been responsible for the Merchant Quarter for years. He's been chastised repetitively for his criticism of General Vaklu. His years of service won't protect him if he continues to subvert the chain of command. He has received several warnings. With a nudge, he just may get a dishonorable discharge. Oh, this is definitely the dark side way, isn't True it? True veteran. Years of honorable service. Completely dedicated to the Queen. Sadly, I think he's more on our side than the Queen's. But he's an old soldier that can't adapt to today's... complex situation. Regardless of what the best interests of Onderon are, he won't swerve from executing the Queen's misguided decrees. Persuasion may be ineffective. Take this military security card. It can be used to slice into security terminals. Perhaps you will find solutions there. Can I just kill them? About what? You can't attack them directly. The entire city would be after you if you assaulted their checkpoints. You may have to be subtle. They don't have to be killed. Just removed from... Do I get extra? For each task you complete, I am prepared to pay you 2,500 credits. Plus, you will earn the favor of some powerful people. This uh -huh. woman works for Vaklu. The queen is riddled with shortcomings and other faults. We should assist Vaklu instead. Uh... Oh, yeah, Vaklu is technically trying to kill us, isn't he? Um, we'll just get... This will let us get close to him. I have no interest in helping that queen. By helping Anda, we may convince Vaklu we need not be enemies. Um, also... The... Queen has one of those Jedi cowards as her advisor. So. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. Actually, I wasn't telling you about it before. Like I said, hmm. I was warned by command to keep my opinions to myself. Ask around, though. They're... The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city, and everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Giska around here. They breed like mad. <laughs> Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. Mm -hmm. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. Yes, tell them what you really think, Riken. I don't think so. I know you'd like nothing better than getting me drummed out of the military, but I'm not gonna say a word. Oh, I feel kind of bad about this, but... On the other hand, I don't. So, the urge to speak your mind must be overpowering. Say what you really mean. What I really mean? General Vaklu... Vaklu may be a war hero, but everything he's done since the war has been poison for us. And the Republic. There are rumors, always spoken quietly, that he has made alliances with dark powers. Things worse than the Freed and Nad movement from our past. I think... That's enough! You may be the Queen's pawn, Riken, but you will not rail against a brilliant general like Vaklu. Can't you see it? 
He's slick with words, but Vaclu's inner circle are responsible for dark deeds. Anyone that speaks out against him is labeled a rebel spy. You think the Republic needs a few hundred spies and Isis? Most spies are picked up in raids and never heard from again. It's just wrong. I will see you are relieved of your command for this. Your mouth just ended your career. No matter how distinguished your war record is, it is over! I don't know how much more help I'll be. I won't be in the military too much longer. Such suggestions are only effective on the weak-willed. Um, I know. <laughs> That's why it worked. Is it just me, or is there more guards here? Portmaster, where is... Is it you? No? Dock worker, citizen, citizen. I can't believe that the Republic assaulted our space forces. Forget about secession. We should declare war. In the latest news today, the Onderan Space Force has confirmed that a Republic military craft initiated the space battle over our planet. Sources inside the military say the first shots of the massive battle were fired by the Republic vessel, the Ebon Hawk. Oh. The Ebon Hawk is a capital class vessel and it destroyed That's not 15 true. <laughs> military fighters before being destroyed by Colonel Tobin's forces. Queen Talia is expected to make an announcement later today. Whether her support of the Republic will falter due to this attack is unknown. Probably not. So... She said he's at the canteen or whenever he's not on at his post, so. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, sir, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I I'm just a journalist, not a spy. <laughs> I'm good. Hmm. Not getting involved. Then let's take this spy away. Another word out of you and we can make the trip very uncomfortable. Hmm. Oh, we didn't even get dark side points for that. Leaving the poor guy to his fate. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Uh, your problem, not mine. Get out of my way. <laughs> you have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Mm. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. Uh, certainly someone will pay more. I only know of one person who might offer something comparable. And what's going on there is illegal. <laughs> I'm a legitimate trader, so there's no risk. There's only one thing ultimately more important than money, and that's your life. She's trouble. I wouldn't deal with her. I want nothing to do with her. It All right. So up to her. <laughs> Uh, we can't go there. Talk to her, so I guess it's just past. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litwa. Shanek ma win. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu kavadumpa munsuru ku plagliya wa. Moga chi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo grabo. Drum pavana karas. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosa nansata. Going back a fair amount, and how does he know about exile 
cocoon like that. I didn't know that was common knowledge. Okay. He may not tell all the truth. Oh my god. Tayaita Yes, human sentient. I want to hear the answer to this as well. Do you stand with youthful idealism or with political pragmatism? What's with, like, the grilling at the moment? <clears throat> oh, ouch. Um. <laughs> the Republic has taken advantage of Onderon. A little revolution now and again can be a good thing. Vaklu is my choice as well. Politics is filled with those who react. Vaklu is someone who acts. There is an emptiness in the galaxy. A vacuum that will get filled. He may go far in his path. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a captain. The sky ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, off-worlder. I am Captain Bastuco. I have served loyally in the Onderon military for 20 years. 20 years would mean you were here during the Mandalorian Wars, right? I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world, and I fought in the Resistance. When we drove them from Onderon, I served on the Wall for ten years after. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? The Mandalorians never gave ground to any Onderon soldier. <laughs> Such a view could be considered treason. Onderon was responsible for much of the fighting during the last days of the war. Without General Vaklu, the Republic would have fallen. General Vaklu is my superior officer, and I respect the chain of command. He kept the resistance alive when the Mandalorians were destroying our world. The wall is the barrier between Isis and the Onderon wilderness. For hundreds of years, we kept the city free of beasts and beast rider scum. The greatest honor for an officer is to serve on the wall. Many aspire to the post, but few are really? worthy of it. <laughs> Why aren't you on the wall anymore? I was requested to guard the sky ramp in the merchant quarter. You don't sound too pleased about your post. My personal feelings on the matter are irrelevant. I received an order and I carried it out. Tell me your feelings. I, I feel a little lightheaded. Let me tell you what I feel. I have many good years of service left in me. I feel like I'm being set aside. They said they needed their best men here. But sky ramp duty has always been relegated to fresh officers. If you're that ha happy, you should uh, request to be reassigned to the wall. I couldn't do that. I heard the reassignments came from the queen herself. Yeah, <laughs> you should request reassignment immediately. Uh, I will request reassignment immediately. Troops, man the checkpoint without me. I must leave. At once. All right, that's two out of two out of three taken care of so far. Let's go and murder the other one. Mines cannot. Oh no! I didn't skip that. The game uh, it's doing that weird skipping glitch again. It does fix itself after a while, though.
Tinachara, Granacha, Ganoiso. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. Terando nosh, we want a hotto. Rakichi sa. Donacinto noroki pas shakani. Rakichi sa. Donacinto noroki pas shakani. Dakosha, nichotoro. Punta chakorzo waman. Gotashjuna rananashani. Visitisa cholo. Oh my god, there's three of the exact same person right there. <laughs> Alright, yeah, 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 we're getting threatened to be killed again. Wow. That was quick. Sith? Power gauntlets. What have I got? I've got an Kurakan gauntlets, which saves plus three, dexterity plus one. This just gives you strength, which I'm not really. I don't really need that, so. I mean, I do, but. Our specialty isn't melee. Not even close. Uh. <laughs> I'm assuming that's blood, but it doesn't look, uh... Great. Where's the cantina? Have I gone... Oh, that would be it right there. No fight or kill. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Had my fingers crossed the whole time. What do you want? How am I going now? So there's a bunch of people who want a visa. You look like an off-worlder. My name's Galisi. I'm a checkpoint captain at the Merchant Quarter. If you're here for Juma Juice, it's not that good. But at least it's cheap. I don't think Bith have the same sense of taste we do. How's the check? Uh, you seem tired. Long day, as always. Sulio was captain of that checkpoint for years. I never knew why she came here every night until I got her job. <laughs> We stand at the checkpoints all day long. It gets hot out there and my feet are always killing me. But now I'm in charge and everybody's problems are mine. So I have to deal with all the people begging to get out of the city. Every one of them's got a story. Let me tell you, there are a lot of sad stories out there. Of course there are. Hmm. She was murdered. Oh. I didn't want her job, but okay. I got it now. <laughs> the same as everyone. People are trying to blame that doctor, Dagon Ghent. I don't think even Command believe he did it, but someone's got to take the blame. I... I almost think that investigators aren't really looking. Dagon's convenient, and they don't want to find the real murderer. You sound nervous. Sulio was murdered. Maybe even assassinated. I might be a little paranoid. I have a wife and daughter to look after, and I feel like I'm a target now. I'm tempted to just grab my family and take the first shuttle out of here. Sounds like a good idea. You might... Th you need to think of your family first. I really am torn. Oh, fuck. There are days... There are some days where I think I'm a fool to stay. Yeah, <laughs> you've had enough. It's time to leave for your children. I've gone over this so many times. What? <laughs> I just, no, I still don't know what to do. I know people want to get rid of the captains. I, okay, I believe you. Go. How can you know... Never mind that. I think it may be a good idea to turn in my notice. I... I appreciate the warning. Fucking got there in the end. Jesus Christ. There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality, unique weapons that you won't you said be able the to magic find. Words, lady. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask no worries, is Kendall. get me one open starport visa. 5,000 credits. Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare <laughs> Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. 
Kashoni crystals were warmed by a dying sun millennia ago. Who this Only chick we're talking were to? Only a were attained before the sun went nova. Their power is rumored to be great. Oh. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. No visa, no crystal. All right, well... Uh, how do I know you'll live up to your bargain? Because we'll trade them simultaneously. And if you aren't satisfied with your payment... How did you know I'm a Jedi? It's a small universe. I don't really care about the trouble that's done? behind you or ahead of you. Not really. Exact All right, we're going out. So, she's going to be getting the visa. Oh my god. Quim... Quimtic. <laughs> okay, going now. Um, well, let's go and get our credits from... Anka. Or whatever her name was. Because we've taken care of all of them. Though that last one was looking a little dicey. Garbage pile. Good, I mean... General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of Why the Evan Hawk is, it, is um, elusive, General. We were warned about that. Like uh, but still dementia or something? Yeah. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. Right. I think I have an idea. Oh. Hold that order. Sorry. Have him watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. Alzheimer's, yeah, it's dementia, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. You're back to visit me. So all three captains have been removed from their posts. You're quite impressive. Here's the reward I promised. I will let my friends know oh, that's awful, your Gandalf. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that you have to go through that. The favor at some point in the future. You've made a powerful ally, Jedi. Is that it? I thought there'd be more to that. Mm. So where where do we go now? <laughs> that's all I that's all I knew to do. We want that? Pass. His office is on the far side of the quarter. Okay. Oh, got West Square. This is Dagon oh. Gent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. Uh, you looking for Dagon? Not. You're not gonna find him here. Uh, where is A he? A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Gent is one really? of them. Really? It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. If you talk to him, Tell him I got his 20 credits. Okay. I am one. Um. Reinitializing complete. That goes against my pro market condition. Oh, yeah, it's. I, um, I don't know anyone with it, but I have heard that it's, like, one of the worst, um, things to have to go through, and it sounds like it, not just, just for, like, family and everything like that. It's, um, they put a, f oh, for fuck's sake. We haven't gone without a fight in, like, two seconds. There's, at least here, there's like a fairly significant amount of money put towards finding um, a cure for it. 
I don't know how it goes in the rest of the world, though. Oh my god. If you're threatening me, prepare to die. Well, these ones are a bit tougher. Not by much, though. Bounty Hunter's Starport Visa. Yeah. God, that, that must be tough. Um... It's, it's one of those things, though. It, like, they say it's all, um, not hereditary, uh, genetic. And it's kind of scary to think that it's just one of those things that might happen or might not. But, yeah, that's, that sounds pretty awful. Do you have a visa yet? I'm still paying. I do indeed. Don't worry what I'll do with a visa. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take a vacation. Maybe I just... <laughs> I have an honest face. You will answer my question. What do you need the visa you for? You have an honest face. I will answer your question. I need to transport permacrete explosives for the exchange. They're going to use it to take care of some competition and some local authorities. Permanently. Oh no. <laughs> because we'll trade them simultaneously. Um. So, is this one, does this one not count? I guess not. What are you, what are you standing here for? No. Nothing. So I have to go back to the tower. Where am I going to get a fucking... I got my hopes up for a second with that bounty hunter's boss. Uh, we may have to cut the stream a little short. I don't know how by how much, but um, might be another half hour or so. Then I have to go. Um, to the tower. Yeah. Or just keep going until I have to leave. And we have to talk to you. It's the offworlder. Listen, let's keep this brief. I probably lost my command already <laughs> because of the conversation we had. I don't see how it could get worse. But the galaxy has a funny sense of humor about that. Do you have a man named Dagon Gent in custody? We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Who got murdered? Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starpoint checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it, the punishment is death. He's not my friend. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. How long is he going to be questioned? Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. Can I see him? No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. How can I eliminate him as a I suspect? I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard. <laughs> but I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. 
If you can somehow clear that up and stay Right, so I have to go back to the cantina. I'm getting a little bit of fucking whiplash here. Back and forth, and back and forth. Back, like I'm playing fucking tennis. I don't like tennis, it's boring. Doesn't really seem to be much else here either. I think he's stuck. So I know we can talk to the this lady over here. Do you have Hello. a visa yet? I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. Ah. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. What is it? What? <laughs> Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going That's a weird way to, to put that. Anyway. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? You look familiar too. I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh... We didn't win that battle. I remember. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? Um. <laughs> well, if you want to get technical, Jedi don't really serve the Republic. I meant for myself, no, the Republic is of no concern to me. Pity. The Republic needs every capable person they can get. If you'll excuse me. Okay. Nice to meet you, sentient. No. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. Oh, good. Do you know Dagan Gint? <sighs> know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know any reason he'd kill Sulu? Dagon thought very highly of the good captain. I did too. She had a sharp wit, that one. Said oh, his face though. is very different to everyone else's. <laughs> know him. I'd... So he was less than helpful. <laughs> as an ass. Uh, Behema and... Alright. Alright. So there's a few... Here. Who are you? No, not one of the regulars. I mean, most people in this so far have been kind of asshole-ish. There is one. Some very pointed questions, okay? Soldiers have a habit of doing that. Bosakurata, go jujutu yoki. Mungachi norta imbrewanachiki. Drumba bambua. Kontichan munka. Security analyst. Oh. Uh, any reason why Dagon Gent would kill Sulu? I Cavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulu Takometa Kabla Yia Justin Kawana Bota Yunta A friend of a friend told me that you're the guy I could talk to about adjusting starport visas. You mean him? Dahupa Bo Sakurata Go Jujutu Yo Five hundred credits. Uh, 
Okay, so. Do you have a visa yet? Yes, we do. Let's just hit save real quick. Do you have a visa? I had faith you'd get hold of one. Uh, so it's true. So what do you want for it? A weapon, money, or the lightsaber? I shall take all of it. Here you go. If you aren't satisfied. All right. So 5,000, uh, not 5,000 credits, we got the crystal, which is more than enough for me, and some dark side points, but it barely fucking moved. Good. Uh, I have a friend who doesn't want to stream because of low viewers. Right, why do you stream? Um, I stream because it's fun, um, but, and it's sort of like, uh, an escape for me. But, the low viewers thing isn't really an issue. People kind of just fall in, um, whenever. And sometimes you'll have, uh, more viewers, sometimes you won't. Like the other day, uh, and by the other day I mean last week, or the week before, I had like 20 between 15 and 20 people so it's um I didn't learn anything about the doctor's alibi Cursed him. I need to go and talk to him um so yeah it's kind of if you're gonna if you want to stream and you want to do anything with it whether it is just to do it for fun or to like I don't know, make a job out of it. You kind of have to not think about the viewer, viewer count and stuff. It takes a long time to, to get past that. Like, I've been streaming for two years. This two room and a half is reserved, now. Offworlder. Um, and yeah, I mean, once you get into the, the habit of streaming, I do it pretty as consistently as I can with work. But you kind of just have to not worry about the viewers and just have fun and people will usually just drop in when they drop in and if they don't, they don't. Um, I do know some people that can't stream because of because of that though. It does get very demoralizing, and it, especially at the start. Um, like I think I stream for... Oh god, it might have been four, three or four months. Maybe not that long, maybe two months before I even got a single viewer. Um, and then m more time on top of that before someone actually talked in chat. So it's you just kind of... I don't know, just kind of do it. <laughs> but yeah, for me, it all comes back to it's fun and I like to. Um, and hopefully one day I can make something more out of it. But uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the murder. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. Streaming for the wrong reason. Is he streaming to, like, get f famous? <laughs> or to make money or whatever? I know his face. That's about it. His office is on Bekel's. Who is Bekel? She's a beast rider like me and our yeah. leader. You I mean, never be speaking ill of her. Or I, f else. I kind of feel like if you've got that um, mentality, you don't really get to enjoy it as much. If you're super, like, hyper-focused on getting as much as possible and, um, yeah, it just, it just sort of saps all the fun out of it. I'm probably, I lean to more towards doing this for fun. Um, I would like for it to go that next step, but unless you get really lucky or you're really good at something in particular, even then, even if you're an amazing, say you're really good at some fucking whatever's the 
in game at the moment. Um, wait, what did he just say? Um, Alright. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if, if you're doing it, anyway, <laughs> if you're doing it just solely to get money and followers and make a big thing out of it, you're gonna crash and burn pretty quickly. Um, so, huge advantage. Yeah, yes and no. I think the they do have certain advantages and <laughs> certain drawbacks, like the abuse. <laughs> <laughs> which is not this room is res um great she's a beast okay that is not helpful at all so is there anyone else in here i can talk to about back hell uh, uh, maybe you <laughs> can't really think about that um you can't think about like oh they're getting more viewers than me so i might as well not bother or such and such is has more followers than me so i'm gonna go and curse them out like that sort of thing it just sort of it brings everyone down and it makes you feel just worse off about streaming i know like um oh my god that's that's in-game footage they don't know anything about the murder. Um, wow, are they commenting on my dark side corruption? Don't ever mention my appearance again. <laughs> I'd like to get some free. Um. Yeah, I. And in say, but in saying that, like you shouldn't worry about that stuff. I, it's hard not to. Um, it's just something you kind of get used to. Um, or you stop. That's you either get over it and just kind of stream and try and have fun, or it gets it starts to eat, eat you up and you just stop. Which I think a lot of people end up going towards getting demoralized and just stopping. Which is a shame. Um, someone was saying Sulio deeply humiliated Dake on the night he was murdered. Uh, night she was murdered. That's a very good motive. Right. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't hmm. let him off that easy. Maybe someone in here will know. Aramontok, Tumukara Chukorak, Grun Kanawana Machi Nito. Right. Tanto Todos, Tu. Um. Croton Oranga Manatandi. Alright, bye. So, they used to just play, well, play insult each other, I guess. Welcome back. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pazak game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Sullio was our friend. Right. Just outside the door, but... 
might oh, be a good idea to look that's at the crime scene. Junk, the blood we fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian well, that Wars. Red smear. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. <laughs> know him. Alright, that's... He's going into a fucking feedback loop. So, just over here. That's why I should... I, the garbage pile was... Dried blood where we sh she was killed and the broken droid. Heavily scavenged in the head is Nobody missing. Nobody we talked with mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed. Uh, I'm not enjoying the fucking back and forth at the moment. And I'm missing my lightsaber. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I changed its uh, spot somehow. Guess we'll just talk to Nico. Welcome again. back. My Foul business that. That would be Bohemia's SOD two. Uh, no, SOD3. Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still smoldering. Hmm. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dwellers shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. Mm -hmm. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do, of course. She was dead. Right. Welcome back. <laughs> Foul. That would be... So I guess we just go through and ask. <laughs> did you see a droid? Oh, you did. This room is. Yeah. yeah. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. <laughs> oh, There's see. a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D right. is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. You might have even bought some. Alright. So, we're going to pay him a visit, I guess. Um, and hopefully this, like, little scavenger hunt is coming to an end. <laughs> is that him there? Yeah. Greetings, Master. Any parts from one of Behemoth's servants? Entity Behemoth unknown. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Kiff in the cantina can probably... I'm starting to feel like, uh, Mandalore is just trying to get sloshed. Oh no, he's over here, isn't he? I have the remains of the droid. Can you get any information on it? Bosa curata go juju to yo kawana bota yunta tang. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosa nanansa. 
Hang on a second. Why was his last recording from up above himself instead of from like a <laughs> a first person view? That's a little strange. Welcome back. My Foul business. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. Oh good, I don't have to do that myself. Okay, good. Nico is it? And the off-worlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. Yeah, he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> that should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Um, they weren't really fighting. The regulars of the cantina can vouch for Have it. you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Did you talk to anyone in the bar? Others can confirm they were good friends. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a manner. It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. Um... So were other people. Some salvages were stripping the serving droid when, uh, within a minute or so two. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. It came from his office, but a recording of the murder shows the shot came from the opposite direction. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's going to be on your head. Wow. The men will be working on getting Dagon Ghent out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The ma Major seemed particularly unwilling to believe Dagon was innocent. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not going to say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. <laughs> well, I mean, all the junk Thanks and dead robots is... As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. What the hell happened to you anyway? Your face looks like the back end of a dewback. Well, regardless, I owe you and Mandalore one. One, I'm wearing a mask, so how can you tell? Two, go fuck yourself. Yeah, it was. Although it looked pretty much like this to begin with. Little dirt never killed anyone. Well, maybe a few people. But they didn't pay too well, so they got what they deserve. Oh my god. I give my customers a menu of options. If they go for the deluxe, I'll clean up the place and put on a new smock. Otherwise, they knew the risks. Don't you call them patients? Patients, customers, idiotic hut spawn, call them what you like. Most doctors tell you that they get into the business to save lives. Most of them are flaming liars. At least I'll tell you the truth. I'm in it for the credits. Like what? Mandalore says you might be able to help me. I need to get in touch with someone from the palace. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's vault. 
<laughs> I know a few people though. Who do you need to get in touch with? It's a Jedi Master. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a master there, I think I know who it is. Can you get in touch with someone inside the palace? There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. The people I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. Right. Who has them? Bakel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisk. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. Cool. We just got another lightsaber. Why? Is it really adding this stuff to my inventory like a mate? Yeah, one, two, three, we now have four lightsabers. That we aren't, aren't using. Raquel, she wasn't in there. Your Sakiri. Oh my god, she's just appeared. Look at that. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. Uh, you have something that belongs to Dagon Ghent. I want to get it back. You? And just how do you intend to do that? First, I intend to cut you down in front of your men. Then after I kill them, I'll take it off your corpse. Those words will be your last. Doubt it. See, I can shoot lightning out of my butt. So, I think I'm definitely better off. We may get kicked out for this, though. Mm. And no one's got any problem. <laughs> oh, man. Murder is the most fun crime to get away with. Or so they say. I wouldn't know, of course. Have you found the encrypted holodisk? Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. Cool. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome and I... Um... Nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? Hmm. That's what I was afraid you'd say. And we're going to kill him and absorb his life essence. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. What? Literally busted you out of prison, you, you must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. I have my ways, Master Kavar. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. 
The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. I didn't expect you would turn on me to Kavar. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. Oh, yeah, sure. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an exploit. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain. Only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of him! I won't let Kavar escape! This cantina is infested with life. A well-placed grenade could cleanse some of the dirty and insignificant souls here. <laughs> cleanse away, Visus. Visus, Visus. No one crosses me and lives. Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant, take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. How dare you interrupt my meeting with Kavar? You cost me my chance to kill him. Appearances have to be maintained, and I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. There we go. We have allies, terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the General believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? I see. So you have to make a show of trying to capture me. Exactly. That way they are satisfied that we are still loyal to them. I assume you want to know more about our ally. There is little we know about him. Or her, even. It's a Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first. And by the time we did, it was too late. Right. What do you want of me, then? The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong, too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me more of this deal. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker like past. The sound of that. Some of those might be especially useful to you. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of our enemy. How does this work, then? For now, it's simple. We have to act like you're our enemy. When you leave this cantina, my men have orders to kill you. There is no way they could possibly stand up to you, but they don't know that. Leave Isis, and don't come back until we send a message for you. If the payment I've offered you is insufficient, I assure you General Vaklu himself can offer you a satisfactory deal. You must make a choice. Will you support us, or the Queen? Vaklu is a political animal, but he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable than Queen Talia is. I think allying with him is the best course. Okay. I sense no duplicity in this offer as well. Credibility is important in Onderon politics. If he betrayed you and betrayed the Sith, his reign would be a short one. Um, I will work with General Macklew. Excellent. You won't regret this decision. We will contact you. Like I told you, the men outside will try to kill you. We will talk later. 
Right, so are we supposed to not kill them? <laughs> Time for us to leave then. Oh my lord. What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? Vaclu soldiers have been attacking me. What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. It's broad daylight. They're wearing... Wait, I'm in a hurry. I'll Listen, if you really were in a fight, you should report it to the soldiers. The West Square is a dangerous place these days. Yeah, okay. I almost blew the cover then, I think. You know what to do. Let's do it! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> the diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? Oh, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> We're about to be riddled with bullets. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. You think? The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. Yeah, okay. So, we're good. The ruse is intact and the HK droids are here because why wouldn't they be? Unnecessary observation. You are eliminating many of us Jedi, but such actions only delay the inevitable. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate recitation. They say the same thing every time. Take return to Dixon. going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. Right. Um, sounds altruistic. Didn't know I had it in you. Um... Why do you want to stop the Sith? The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. Hmm. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Alright. Well, I'm going to switch the party up. Like now, though. There we go. And the guide. Where's the guide? Oh no. They're all dead. I don't think you'll be able to return to 
rises anytime soon. Even a Jedi couldn't defeat an entire army alone. I don't know about that. I think we'd have a pretty good chance. As long as I didn't run out of force power. Just keep spamming that lightning. And we'd do pretty alright, I think. Ready to head back to your ship? Yep. Follow me. Follow me. That guy's definitely Australian. Alright. Put our new crystal in our lightsaber too. Hopefully it's as good as what they said. Right. There is no defeat in admitting such a thing. <laughs> what can be done? We wait patiently. Our time will come. You are not to blame, servant of Atris. You only wished what was best for him, and he cast it aside. He is the one to blame, to forsake such a gift. I feel that there is a lesson in such a thing. Perhaps you might have done more, but it is of no matter now. I don't like those, like, little secret conversations behind my back. <laughs> no. Great items. Here we go. So we have a... Defense bonus... Um... Damage bonus 2. Yeah, I guess we'll put that in. Can only be used by Dark Jedi. Damage 5 regenerates 5... 1 force point. Cool. Viridian. Silvery green. Yo. We'll go... We'll stick with red, I think. And... Sample. It's a lot of freaking stat points on that. Should be quite powerful by now. Uh, let's see if we can talk to the handmaiden. I have a feeling she's going to tell us to uh, stick it. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Go and talk to. Uh, two seconds.
Okay, that was my cue to leave. So we will leave our conversation with Kreia for next time. Um, I am going away for work tomorrow, so stream's probably going to be a little later. Around probably close to like 8, 9 o'clock. Um, but we'll see. I don't know what time I'm getting home. Uh, but yeah, we'll play some Witcher if uh, I get home at somewhat reasonable time. So, I'm going to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night. And I will see you when I see you, I guess. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs>